I want to go your ever was it Yes, there's no one that knows that. <laughs>
you're gonna like read the I don't know how to call it <laughs> I just yeah. want to enjoy myself and like I really need a little bit of guidance so I thought let me kill two birds at once <laughs> and then, it's, it's, it is about relaxing I mean yeah. because an interview um it, it's and, and that's that's my advice to you is um just be comfortable in your own skin because I, I do I do feel here we go already but here I do feel <laughs> like there's a level of, of of you not even being comfortable with yourself and I think that that you just need to relax um you do this you love this there's no reason to be nervous about it um I'm I'm a Sean, I'm just Sean you know I put my 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 pants on one leg at a time um I think you know I'm just a person just like everybody else is um yeah I, you know, Cody and I on the new reality we you know we have this amazing uh, compassion with the paranormal field and and we I get to do my gifts and give people readings to help them through their struggles and and it gives the validity of of what Cody and I do um we love what we do and and you can see it in, in our videos and, and just love what you do you know what I mean love what you do and and it'll show and and relax and um let it be natural right because I think sometimes you have this picture that's going to be this perfect thing and and, and that's not, we, we don't live in a perfect world, right? So things, it is all about being natural. And it is about, hey, so what if I took my hat off and changed it because I've had sweat marks on it? It's just <laughs> all about just, just being comfortable and enjoying uh, the moment. That's the key, enjoying the moment because you're not going to have another moment like this, right? That's true. I think a lot of us, and I'm, I'm now I'm like gonna think about like this year how everybody went through COVID and stuff. I've noticed people like are taking more advantage of time and like realizing you know what I'm gonna enjoy life to the fullest a little bit more. Like it's not like you could tell the world went through like a 360 kind of like night of the shadows or whatever you call it, <laughs> soul of night or something. You could tell the difference. Like, like you can, you can see you can see it in people's eyes it's now they're more aware of what's going on and, and we need that i think yeah. we need it in our ass um everybody's like, oh this is tragic and this is awful well you know what it actually brought a lot of us together and again the human mind wants to put negative behind it no matter what um but i see it as the mountain man medium because again if, if you're if you follow me on instagram obviously i'm sean the mountain man medium on the new reality but um I do walks and, and I give intuitive thoughts and, and it's advice on, on trying to live life a little bit better. It's, it's and look at things a little bit differently. Um, I did a recording the other day. Uh, unfortunately, that was when my dog got bit, but uh, I finished it and I was getting ready to just do a second and uh, it all happened. I actually have it on video. I'm not going to share with anybody because it was tragic, but um, she's okay, which is good news. Uh, she's not. She's recovering. She looks way better than she did yesterday. So um, it's a good thing. But again, it's all about living in, in a in in the moment and not being stuck and worried about what's not going to happen. You know. So I think that was a sign for me with the uh, and it's silly. I know it's just social media stuff, but like a couple of things happened to me. I don't want to get too into detail maybe I'll take it out and tell you but um since May it's been really rough on us and then I took a mental health break and I'm like okay I gotta get into this again I'm, I'm gonna I could do this and just when I like literally the day before I'm like I'm ready to go the night before we we're like me and my husband and my little girl were just hanging out and chilling just no cell phone just us and the and I recorded it because I want to keep it in my as memories. And then the the day before after I'm like on Instagram already, and then Instagram, Facebook disabled. It's like a sign, like no, you're not supposed to be on Instagram or or doing all this stuff. Like give it a break. <laughs> That's um, what I thought. <laughs> Well, I mean, because again, there's there's a level of intuitiveness that we all have, right? There's a level of us listening to um, the message, because a lot of times spirit makes the message clear. And of, of course, all your social media got shot off because you, you one, you you saw the the beautiful moments you're having with your family, 
Um, and then two, um, you started going back to the old consistent routine and not in, enjoying that moment. And okay, well, we're shutting you down. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, you don't want to listen, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's what they do, right? I mean, I think that they, they're looking out for what's best for us. They're, they're doing everything they can to help us live a more fulfilled life. Um, and we can go into specifics. Um, I do definitely feel like, did you, do you, is your grandmother still here or she's passed? My, on my family, I have, I never really got to speak to her personally. I just remember kissing her in her, um, what do you call it? Uh, Spanish to English at the same time. <laughs> in her casket when I was mm. like two. And my dad's like, you, how are you remembering that? You're not supposed to remember anything at two years old. <laughs> so it's an important moment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so do you ever get the feeling that she's around? Because I, I do feel like um, she spends a lot of time around you. I, um, I do her. feel like she's a mentor. And I think that that wasn't by chance that you remembered her at two years old. Um, I feel like there's a level of, of guidance and, and that she was contractually connected to you um, to help you through some of um, your struggles, some of the um, nervousness, I feel like there's a level of the same with your grandmother. Um, was she very secluded? I don't know. If, I know you don't know her, but uh, obviously you, they were, she was talked about. I think she was thought very highly of. I've asked about her and I know some things, but I don't, like, it's hard. Like, my dad's like 72. He's going mm -hmm. 76. And every time I would, like, talk ask about her he would get emotional oh she looks so much like you and, yeah. and so yeah yeah again i feel like even similar because let's not, yeah i don't want you to tell me too much but a similar <laughs> there's a lot of similarities as far as even how she acted there was um a similarities on even um like ways that you smile uh the way you when you get excited uh the excitement in the in the body movement um it, it reminds me of her so and again i think that's why dad gets emotional um and again she's very strong in your energy and i think she lets herself be known uh, have you ever heard um uh, vocally like have you heard a voice and like what was that and you're like but it sounded like you you felt like it was your grandmother that makes sense I've heard somebody call my name, my nickname out, and I'll be like, in a woman's voice. Uh -huh. And then nobody. <laughs> her. <Yeah. laughs> so, uh -huh. it's her. But I, again, I think um, she, she, there was a twinkle in her eye with you. Obviously, you looked a lot alike, but there was something about you that your grandmother felt very strongly. Uh, do you have siblings? Because I feel like you were the favorite to her, even though you were so young. Did she take care of you uh, when in your baby years? I wouldn't know. I have to ask my dad. I think he she probably got to be with me a little bit, I think, as a baby. Well, I can't go too much into it because you don't remember a lot of it, but I do feel like she was very intuitive as well. Um, I think that that is in that side of your lineage. Um, I think that there is, a, I see like grandmother, even, even your mother being uh, in that type of, does your mother even claim it though? I feel like she might be very straight laced and maybe pushes it off to the side. Does that make sense? Uh. <laughs> So yeah, so she she doesn't is that does that make sense though? I mean, you, that's is that at her? Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I see it lining up though because I do I feel like she is that and was that but will not claim that. Um, but the grandmother, I do feel like uh, your grandmother did in a way maybe not so vocal but did claim it, understood it more, um, and and understood that you understood it even though you're at only two. Was she, do you know if she was doing any mediumship work or psychic work at all? Was she? Yeah. Because I do feel like, again, she was giving readings. <laughs> she was giving, and, and was she a healer? I feel like she also helped with the healing. Because, um, again, I feel the hands get warm. I feel like yeah. she oh put her hands on people. Oh. I have she was, yeah. Um, and, and, again, this is real stuff. Because, you know, people claim, oh, I'm this and that and the other, but your grandmother was the real deal. She made miracles happen. She made people heal. She helped people in processes. Um, they had names for it that weren't, wasn't so positive, but, um, but you know, it's, 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 
they're just labels. Um, her intention was to, to help people. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Um, very big hearted soul, very caring, very loving. Had a, and, and again, very strong in her inner energy. Um, I think she was the one that actually messed with your um, social media, actually. Um, <laughs> so said, you need to spend time with your family. <laughs> you need to spend, yeah, that's what matters right now. And that's why the pandemic did what it did. It's really to help us be, get closer to our family and love our family. And and we've we've kind of stepped away from that. So um, a lot of, and the veil spin, like they get a chance, you hear them. I, I think you e even see her sometimes and, you, and you're not, what was that? But um, I think you'll, you'll see glances and you're like, what was, what was that? Um, I, I think it was grandma. And I do feel like there's more than just her there. I do feel like, and I felt like you lost somebody more recent. Have you lost, it feels like a male. Uh, is maybe an uncle, maybe? Uh, did you lose something? Oh, wow. You're right. It's not, it's not on my side. It's on my husband's side. Yeah, yeah, but you were close. Like, you guys were very close. Um, he was very genuinely caring about you and, 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 and your, your family and, and the structure. And, um, yeah, so he's in the he's in the house as well. Um, again, just really loves what you guys are and who you are and what you guys are doing. And, and he may have also had some to do with the social media thing because, again, he, he loves the family. He feels like... Um, it was a little, were you having a little bit of conflict with the family? Were you guys struggling a little bit? Okay. I don't talk much to, or I didn't talk much to them. But that's on, like, my husband's side. Like, his, it would be on his uncle, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was an uncle. But, but again, like, he's watching out the family because, again, he loves, okay. he loves the family. Um, I, I, I feel like there's a, I feel like he's, he's, he's wishing that he had similar. Did he have a, a family? It, I, I, do you know of? I feel like his family probably was very um, in disarray. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's kind of private, but yeah, wow. Yeah, and I won't go into the details of oh, it. Oh yeah, I'll, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but wow. There's a lot of conflict there, and and, and a, there's a lot of just seeing the beauty that you guys have, and and again, you guys, it's okay to bicker, you and you and your husband. Um, um, but just remember, it's just bickering. It's nothing you have to hold on to, right? So I think that there's a, a genuine like, oh, this is a beautiful thing. Um, he's enjoying to watching the family union and, and the time that's spent. Of course, grandma as well. They, they, they're all supporting that. Um, he, again, was I, I, not jealous, but very like, man, I wish I, I would have done this and this. And I wish I would have stopped and smelled the flowers, so to speak, with with um, with his family. Um, I feel like I, I know this. You can cut this out. But was he involved with? I think so. I'm not too yes. familiar. So obviously, obviously he's on the other side, and now he's there's a clearer head, and, and and there's this oh I should have, could have, and didn't. So going back to what I said at the beginning, it's really, really important to live in the moment. It's really, really important to not worry about what could have happened, should have happened, um, and go. I'm scared. I'm not going to do this because. Um, it's scary and it might not work out. So that's what life's about. Life's about having a good time. Life's about having a bad time. Life's about loving. Love is, it, life's about having your heart broken. Um, that's the experience. We judge it as good or bad, but the real is it's the experience of life and that's why we're here. And your uncle or your, your, uncle-in-law, if you will, um, is, is I, again, I, I hate to say regretting, but um, he's wishing that he would have looked at life a little bit differently and, and, and would have lived a little bit differently and, and wishes he didn't get stuck and caught up in his, his habits, if you will. Um, but again, he's enjoying watching the beauty you have with your family. And, and it is, there is a beauty there. And again, Going back to it, it's natural for couples to have bickering. It's not the big deal. Um, I don't feel like you hold on to a lot of things, but maybe husband might a little bit. Um, he kind of holds on to stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Um, That's true, though. That's what I do. What I do. Um, I, I, he holds on to stuff, but 
uh, it, it, he just needs a little friendly reminder. The uncle's like, stop being a stubborn mule. I, you know, stop being that way. Is, is he stubborn? <laughs> Again, you gotta validate these things because you're gonna have some show. So, so um, it's okay because that's his, his personality. But so you're you're a, you're a kind heart and you're you're um, you're you you understand and that's what you picked him right and that's just the way that's his little quirks if you will uh but he you know again the uncle's there because he's guiding your husband some like he's trying to get him to let go of stuff because um it's not productive in his life um it only causes because i think your your husband has a lot of stress i feel like he it, it, there's a lot of like stomach stuff going on does he have a lot of stomach issues yeah, because he holds on to his stress and it drops down into the stomach. Um, does that make sense? Lower chakras. There's a lot of blockages there, um, which is causing uh, some physical ailments, uh, digestive issues, uncomfortableness, um, which needs to be taken care of. He needs to work on the stress. Um, he needs to work with his chakras. And, and again, he probably, I don't feel like he's involved with that sort of thing or even has any interest in that. But all, he has, all he's got to do is have a reading with me and I will work on that. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I, I work with energy. So I would work with his, his chakras. Uh, but again, going back to uh, just your daughter's gifted, huh? It's, you have a daughter. Is she like six? <laughs> she just turned seven. <laughs> uh, okay. That's, I blow my mind sometimes. Um, so she's very intuitive. Like, does she, I feel like she dreams a lot. She has very vivid dreams. Is that accurate? Lately, I've asked her because I'm, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to mess up your. Just um, say yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, she's dreaming because there's things that are coming to her in her dreams. Um, I do feel like she's being guided um, because, you know, when you're gifted and you have abilities, um, we get we get extra angels and guides and, and support uh, that kind of uh, helps us uh, with our reasons for being here. Um, she So she's getting a kind of a training, if you will. They're kind of guiding her. They're teaching her. Um, on how to cope with some of the things that she's trying to understand. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and I do feel like it comes in like family members that uh, she may not know, um, but they're there helping her and they're very nourishing and caring and loving. Grandma is a part of that. Grandma's very magical, if you will. She's very, uh, <laughs> she's very, is yeah so um she so of course she's in in your daughter's dreams and helping her uh, and supporting her because i think your 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 daughter is very advanced for her age does that make sense um she says things you're like what the heck really like um so again beautifully gifted um has a lot to offer in this world uh keep keep again nourishing that um she's gonna tr attract um things too and not in a negative way people are oh attract uh, yo hauntings no this is she's gonna she has she's gifted for a reason we don't get these gifts to just just by chance they're here to help people and and the direction human humans are going and kind is going um so you're gonna get a lot more intuitive um people out there that are, are going to know and understand more and your daughter's one of them so uh you're she's going to be <laughs> very intuitive so um her she of course she has free will um she has choices through her life um she may engage later i feel like she's going to learn a lot um she's and this happens normal with uh, people that have abilities they tend to get into their teens and then they just do their thing well it's it is about being here and living life as well um it's not all about being in service. And that's something I tell myself as well. I tend to find myself in service most and not living my life and experiencing life the way it needs to be experienced. Um, I've had, uh, and that's been strong, spirits been yelling in my ear about that. Like, hey, you're not here to only be of service. You're here to live and have life's experiences, good, bad, ugly, love, sadness, what depression, whatever it is, those are all, uh, life attributes their experiences of life um and we're supposed to have them 
the goal is, is to not get stuck in them when, you know, obviously we get into a negative spot. You know, we don't get stuck in those things, but focusing on the beauty and, and the, the, the fulfillment of the experiences. And again, the experience, if you don't have the bad, how do you have, how do you embrace the good, right? So you have to have, it, it's about the balance of life. Um, you're here to learn. You're here to expand, if you will. Um, you're here to become um, something just a, a bigger and a better uh, person that you are. Um, a bigger and better Sean. <laughs> a bigger and better uh, Maria. It's 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 all about just being uh, expanding in in this existence, um, your life, what we call our lives. Okay, so. Big pet fan? Are you a big pet fan? Yeah. Did you lose a dog, a bigger dog recently? Not recently. How about in your, I want to say I see you as a child. I see you as a kid running around with this dog, a dog that knocked you over a lot. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So that dog is still in your house, um, still trying to knock you over, but you, you, you probably sometimes lose your footsteps. They're like, what the hell was that? Okay. Um, so that's the dog. Um, and again, I, I, I hate to bring up the color because sometimes I'm wrong on this, but I feel like he's, he's more of a golder color. Does that make sense? Yes and no. You, you're close, though. It's so... A bigger dog. I, I, I want to say there's two colors. Is there two colors? Maybe two or three? Okay. But yeah, um, not even looking like a lab, maybe a, more of a longer nose. Um, I'm not good with names with the dogs, but I get, I get multicolored, um, but was always knocking because it seems like it's more of a herding dog. It likes to hurt. Like it wants to put you, you, know, put you on track. <laughs> that makes sense? Uh-huh. Okay, so that that is a dog that you had growing up, running around as a toddler. I want to say, maybe about the age of your daughter, maybe a little bit older. Older, yeah. I yeah, that dog again. Love never dies, right? Love is always there. That spirit of that dog is still there. Um, Again, not stuck there. It's because the dog loves you and, and wants to keep seeing you grow. Um, it's there to watch you grow and enjoy um, your, what you're doing with your life. Um, I does your. I, I think sometimes your daughter sometimes senses the dog um, and not really sure about it. But um, but that dog is there. Do you have another dog now? Is it a smaller dog? Yeah. Like a Chihuahua type of a dog. Why <laughs> you say that? I had that one. <laughs> And then, stupid. That's really good that you just said exactly the one I had. He's still alive. Okay. But the other one isn't a Chihuahua. And it is small. But I want to go with the Chihuahua because I feel like the Chihuahua saw your your toddler dog. I I, I want to say the Chihuahua reacted to yeah. the spirit dog. That makes okay. sense. Yeah. Yeah, so I see that. I You don't have the Chihuahua. It's not dead. I don't feel like it passed. The Chihuahua didn't pass, but the Chihuahua could see the, your your toddler, I'll call it, you were growing up, dog, the dog you grew up with. Yeah, I talked to animals too. <laughs> so, um, I think I do. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> you, you think you do? As far as, what do you mean? Like I could, if... <laughs> it's the cutest thing though if I look at the dog or animal I can tell their expression Like, I, go, with <laughs> go with it well again they can't tell you but go with it because again I think you do you have a, 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 a loving towards animals and I think because you are intuitive towards animals and I think that you should just embrace that um, dog got sick you know, obviously got bit by a, a rattlesnake instantly wanted to do what I do best and that's work energy and, and help her heal. I feel like you do the same thing when somebody, when your little one's hurt or the animals hurt, you want to put your hands on it. And with the intention of healing, go with it. Why not? Because we are beings, our, our energy and we do have go with what you feel. Cause a, a lot of times we ignore that and it's, it's our true essence of who we are. 
So, I mean, so if you're if you're hearing a voice, if you will, or something say, hey, you should do this. What what's it going to hurt? to do it <laughs> okay. is it going to be it's either way i mean if it's going to help it with your intentions it may help you never know so i my goal is is if i feel it um obviously if i feel it i'm going to say it which you get a chance to hear that um you and i i have to trust that that what i'm feeling and hearing is 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 real and thank heavens my spirit guys i usually i do a prayer and open it up, but I, you know, I always ask them to be there and be present and, and give me a very clear um, message. And they never fail me. Even though when I first started doing this, um, I was never, I was always worried, like, oh my God, I'm gonna meet this person I don't even know, and I'm gonna tell them about their lives. I'm gonna tell them about their loved ones and their past. Um, scary. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, uh, but that, the beauty thing, the beauty of it is uh, they've never, they've never left my side. Uh, I know that I had a couple life experiences that will kind of, I, I don't know if you're interested as far as going into some of the things that I've went through. So I, I call them divine interventions. Um, I've had a couple NDEs, near-death experiences. Uh, one was a drowning um, where I, there was intervention. Um, another one was I fell off a huge slide and hit concrete head first. Um, and because of my life and what it was, I was like, I'm ready to do this. Let's, let's leave this place. Um, there was an intervention. I call them my angels. Um, they're like, hey, listen, you, you have some work to do. <laughs> you, have, you have things to do here. And it's, you know, we really encourage you. Sorry, I got a freaking fly in the house. And um, we really encourage you to to stay and 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 do your mission. You have things you you have to do, not have to, but I, I you know, they intervened and said, "I'm telling you, you got stuff you got to do here." Um, the most recent, we'll go with the most recent, because um, you know there was a couple details. I won't go into that. It's the, one was to do with my divorce that caused another intervention, but. Um, one was with this COVID thing. I got COVID and I got it bad. Um, I was in my bed one night, sleep uh, at about three in the morning, woke up. And I felt like my soul was separating from my body, um, which I was like, okay, I guess this is it. You know, I, I'm, I, got, I think I'm leaving. And I started praying and just thanking all of, you know, saying my goodbyes. This is how real it felt. And, and I went over to my angels. <clears throat> I work with Archangel uh, Gabriel, Raphael, he's a healer, and uh, Michael. So I went to each one of them and said, hey, um, thank you for all that you've done in this, you know, for me in this, this life. And when I got to Michael, Michael goes, wait a minute here, dude. Like, and, and these guys showed up in my room as light. They, had, they were light. They were streams of light. There's three of them. Um, I said, when I got to what, I just knew who they were. You could feel it. Um, and when I got to Michael, Michael was like, you know, you've done so much to help people as of today. And, and like, I get emotional because it was very emotional. <clears throat> and I got a flash, like, of all of the things. It was it, 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 hard to explain, but it was like a huge look at all the things you've done and, and look at all the help you've created. And, and then it got to where, and again, it was more internal as far as um, the, the conversation, if you will. Again, I'm feeling like I'm dying, but I'm having this conversation. <laughs> and I felt him say, and then he says, but you have potential to help so much more. And he said, sorry, get emotional. He said, it's up to you, you have a choice. It's up to you, you want it, you can stay and you can continue and help a lot more people um, or you can go, you can leave now. And I could feel the feeling of, of what my, I had a lot to do and I knew, um, and I was, I live alone. So I just had my, my fur babies and, and I'm like, I got, you know, I'm going to stay. I'm going to, I think I have, I have work to do. <laughs> and then I said, okay, okay. Now you've made a choice. You have to make changes in your life. When I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, they said, hey, you need to do, um, you need to change some things. You need to help us. 
we're going to work on you right now, but you're going to need to help us. You need to do these things to, to help us with this process to help you heal. Um, and when I said, okay, let's do this. And I had to make some changes in my life. <laughs> they came around me as, as light and I could see them generating light into me. Um, after that all happened, it sounds crazy, I know. But so yeah, so then um, once they did that, they worked on me. Um, they used, uh, they did the light thing. Um, I, I just, there was a lot of them doing that work created a lot more different uh, perspective on things. And my abilities as far as accuracy um, just went up the roof, out up the roof. It just, it was crazy on, on just how they support me. They've always been there and they've always helped me with even some of the hardest readings I've ever had. I had a 14 year old recently um, and, and she was not giving me anything. And so I really had to um, really trust spirit on the message and the message was just ridiculously accurate. And they've done that. They've continued to do that. And ever since that point, um, I've given so many readings and it was not, I, I just, I think I had decided that it's time for me to be who I, I'm supposed to be. And that's a, a psychic medium, mountain man medium. <laughs> and, and, and the new reality, obviously um, the new reality is a brotherhood. Myself and Cody, we were made to work together. Um, I can't even, I don't think anybody even really understands when Cody and I first, or when I met, when I saw Cody, I knew right away, and I wasn't even aware of my abilities at that point, but I knew when I met Cody, he was someone that I was going to be spending and working with. I knew him already, and I hadn't even met him yet. Um, I, he, he lit up like a Christmas tree for me, and I actually, I was... I had a meditation group and I was talking, um, his uncle was uh, a part of this meditation group and I looked over and I said, well, who's this guy over here? And I pointed at Cody and he's like, well, that's my nephew, Cody. I'm like, yeah, there's something about him. And he was going through his own traumas. I won't go into that, but he came to our first meditation group. He just finally decided, okay, I'll go. He sat across from me and I'm telling you, these, <laughs> these meditations were silly um he sat across in his first experience meditating his first meditation experience he saw a lion come out of my chest and sit right in front of me i found that out about a year ago and that was before i had pictures that was after i've had pictures of the that guy had a tattoo of this guy um i didn't know that he never shared that with me until recently and again, that's my animal totem. Um, the hawk, which is up there, which is now this tattoo I have. It's getting finished in next week. Um, and the shaman, the healer, uh, shaman boy, the healer. Um, the hawk, we, we see hawks everywhere we go. Wow. Um, we're, it's, it's, it's really ridiculous. It happens way often. And, and in, in these really weird situations too i could be here all day telling you about all of it but um, you're, you're so, it's making me think of like because i i have i don't want to keep saying i'm christian but i'm christian but with an open mind because of the where my family comes from and the like i have in native american blood i don't know how to say it it's puerto rican taino just like another way of saying indian yeah. and I respect that I find that sacred animals and all that stuff and the, where I grew up in Wisconsin they would always come to school with all that stuff and it just it's something it doesn't get me emotional but I could feel the like almost like a holy spirit kind of thing and again they, they work through everything I call on my angels I, I, I had a very I had a lot of uh religion experiences, um, Catholic, Baptist, Christianity, non-denominational. I knew, and then again, I did. I, I know that they guided me to do that. 
Um, I know that they wanted me to experience all of those things. Um, I met the Holy Spirit. Um, I spoke in tongues when I was 10 years old. Um, I already had a strong connection with my guides, my spirits, my angels. Um, I could physically feel them when we would sing. It would bring tears to my eyes because it was so divine and I could feel it. And, I, and again, I, again I've, been, I've probably been a psychic medium in my life and I just didn't know it. I sensed things and I just thought it was normal. I had a very dysfunctional uh, upbringing, but I always found my way into the divine. I like to think I have a personal um, relationship with Jesus himself. Um, I think we predicted or we, we've, we've created a, an unreal story about him. Um, I think he is very gifted. I'm not going to take away from all the things that they say, but I think we really, um, Jesus is even disappointed on what we did about, it, about his name. And, and I think Jesus has, he came here with no, no veil. He, he was very, uh, he was a healer. He was very psychic. He was very much a medium. He was directly connected to what I call divine because we destroyed the name God. Um, he was very directly connected to father, um, which is who we all are connected to. I feel like we're all a part of it, right? We all are part of God. God is period. God is, uh, God is everything. And that is that, does that make us gods? No, it makes us a part of God. So, and, and again, Christianity, you know, they, I only say it because I have like Christian family members are like, oh, but, like just to tell them like, yeah, I get you guys, but I'm different. And I, yeah. I, I believe in Jesus, but it's the, to the T, the way you said it is how I believe in it. So that's, <laughs> I have found another person like that. Well, my husband, yeah. but. <laughs> and he's, and he's, and he's very loving. He, he loves and he, and again, um, it's hard to pass for human beings. It's hard not to pass judgment on people and it, because we're human beings. And, and again, I, I always, I always give people, um, I tell them to be kind to yourself. It's not easy being a human being, um, but that that's, this is the place you want to learn. You want to expand as a spirit, come to earth. <laughs> Cause it's, it's the most densest. It's the most harshest. It's the most uh, hardest place to be but you know what every spirit that exists wants to be here wants to learn wants to expand wants to take the challenges that life brings some of us have chose a little bit more harder challenges but um you know and some of us chose to have a really strong um influence if you will on people so even being out there and, and talking to people it's so important to say things that are important that are that are good which help people grow because if you're put in a spot to do that um you should be giving uh, an opportunity for people to become better people well, wow. yeah kind of got away from the reading but no, it's all I'm sorry <laughs> no, no, no. i mean it's all a part of it though i think that um there's a reason we're all here and we all, and there's a reason why I, I'm a psychic medium. There's a reason why you have your intuitiveness and you're in a family and, and the things that you have in your life are the way they are. We all have our purpose. We all have our, uh, yeah, we all have our purpose in this, this, this place we call our lives. Um, let me see if I can pick up on any other family members. Your grand, you didn't know your grandfather? Was he more of a, because I do feel like there's a grandfather on your side. Um, did you, is he still, he's gone, right? He's passed. Did you know him very well? Were you guys close? So I, he had a nickname for you. Did he have a nickname for you? My little Mimi or something. I, I, I can't. I might not get the name, but there was. A, did he have a nickname for you? Because I see you like walking by his side as a little one, like you're walking next to him. Did he take you out in the like the out in the woods? Like, I, did he did he go fishing with you? Did you guys go fishing? I do feel like nature. I feel like he was very into nature. Yeah. Right? yeah. So there was what was it that you did in nature? Because I feel like 
he liked to bring that to you. He liked you and him to spend time listening to the birds chirp, um, you know, looking at flowers. I, I just, I feel like he really, really nurtured the land. That makes yeah. sense? Yeah. And he's saying, why the heck aren't you doing that now? <laughs> like, why aren't you getting out on the land? Take the family. Let's, let, like, the land is healing. And I, I believe he believed that. I think he felt so much better when he was on the land. And um, was he more the native uh, background? Yes and no, I could say. Yes. So I feel like he he believed that nature was a healer. Yeah. And he, believed that um he believed and believes that your family um will do the best healing when you go out as a family out in those type of atmospheres camping walking through parks um, and i think do you have like woods close to you because i feel like he's like it's right back it's in the backyard why aren't you doing it is it in your backyard literally i have a backyard yeah but is there woods that near you? Like, I feel like he said it's like, in a way, it's in your backyard. Why aren't you doing it? That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, Grandpa is like, okay, because he feels and, and he understands. He's really very aware as well. Again, a lot of, a lot of gift in, in, in your family. Again, the, the native side is strong on that with when it comes to him. Mm -hmm. uh, healing and understanding what nature can do for healing. So yeah, there's that message from him. He says that you need to get yourself and family. You guys don't get out, huh? You guys aren't getting out much. Yeah, go do that. That's important. Okay. <laughs> I get up. <laughs> did he? Do you know how he passed? Because I get like, he, there's something going on with the throat. Like, did he have some resp respiratory issues? I think so, but he he was really healthy until the very end. I think it's just something yeah. happened like that. I think I can't remember too well because I was so. I can't breathe. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave that with you. I feel like he passed away in a way because maybe it was pneumonia. I feel like it had to do with respiratory. I think something like that it was. I think it was something like that. Because he was really, I mean. He's on the land all the time. <laughs> he's feeling it all the time. Uh, but it was his time to leave. So that was the way he, he exited. It was, is, again, is it was contractual. Okay, time for me to go. Um, and then it just, and it, I don't feel like he suffered. It just happened mm -hmm. quickly. It's like, oh, like all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, he, did you get a chance to say goodbye? Was that something that bothered you? I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Did that bother you? That bothered you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so of course I came up. Um, he's always there supporting you. So there's no need to say goodbye because he's always there. Um, he's always encouraging you. He's always trying to tell you, hey, um, you got this. And again, uh, your nickname, I want to go here. Um, whatever, was it? Yes, there's no one that knows that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, because he's like, come on, let's do this. It's because yeah. he didn't say your name. He was like, um, come on, like, get out there, girl. You got this. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a real. <laughs> this is some fake stuff. There's here. no way anybody knows that on, like, on YouTube. On I kept that for a reason, secret. It's just for sa one for safety, two for like stuff like this. If something, <laughs> that's insane. I'm a factual medium. I, I I think it's important to give my clients facts stuff that you i don't know i'm not gonna look up and, and go on social media because that's who I am anyway but uh, i'm not you i'm gonna give you something that only you know um and, and and that no one else knows except you so there you have it right there um so again our, and, and again for people that are watching you know they, they think it's cut and dry it's not i died i went to heaven i went to hell that's way too simple. That is not how it works. Um, we're always expanding, um, and I don't necessarily understand all of it, but I do understand that we love what's here, and when we leave, we still love what's here. 
And so we can come back and we can spend this time. We can encourage, we can nurture, we can do all these things through our energetic bodies. The solid is temporary, but our energies are forever. Forever. We're not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Our, our personalities are forever. <laughs> we don't change our personalities either. Um, we'll always be who we are. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> that's so strange hearing a stranger call my nickname it's so not stranger like that but it, it's something like only my dad and my brother like it's, yeah i feel like he wants to kick your dad's butt right now it, your dad needs to do something i don't know what he needs to do your dad's like in this stagnant place and he's like what are you doing man come on like what are you doing now is this his brother no, uh... Sorry, no, no, that, I'm sorry. No, that's grandpa. That was, his, that was his dad. He's like, what? So, what's going on with you? Not, that's probably more personal. I, these readings are. Oh, well, wait, I cut it out. Um... So, I, I feel like, where, where, where is your dad at right now? I feel like he needs to do something. He's not happy. Is it? Is it? Is it in his work? He he's not working, but he loves working. He's like 76. He's he's never still. He'll walk a mile a day. Why is he not going out and doing something? I feel like he can, but he's not. I don't know what it is. I have to. I haven't talked to him. I don't talk to him because he has. So he's coping with. Mm-hmm. He's been like that for years. Yeah, and, and, and the one that you said it's not my mom he's the one that has the gifts that he's like ignoring yeah yeah and I think that he doesn't even know how to cope with it and it's really hard sometimes to have these gifts just, mm-hmm. people are oh well why don't you just turn it off well when it becomes <laughs> so strong where I look at somebody and again I have to try to close it off I, it's unfortunate that, that it's so clear because I can see everybody for their face, who they are and what they are and what they're trying to be and what their and, and what their intentions are. So it, it's not easy. So I mean, so you should you should just kind of. I know it's hard to understand, um, but it's really difficult for your dad to deal with his his abilities when you ignore it. And I feel like he, he's a very emotional energy. So he takes on people's stuff. Mm-hmm. And so he doesn't know how to block it. And so he doesn't want to feel it. Mm-hmm. So guess what? Excuse my French. Um, it's not easy being that. And, I, and I'm going to say that because I, I have that. It's hard for me sometimes. So I, I've, I've at times become a hermit. And, and, and I'm afraid to to live because oh my god the, I feel this from this and and and, and it's again because we're humans that tend to pass judgment and we find ourselves judging before we get a chance to live. Um, I do know that that your his his dad, your grandfather, is trying to encourage him. Um, I do feel like it happens while he's asleep because that's where um, he's most easy, easily approachable. Um, in his subconscious mind, he's already he's dropped all of the uh, awareness at that point. Um, so I know there's some work that's going on there. I, I don't know if it's going to get any better. I don't know if it's something that's ever going to get better. Um, so, but again as his emotional body his dad is trying to help him with that help him cope with things a little bit easier and again I know we label things right we label things as good and bad and again oh look at that person he's this that and the other well again we can't judge a person if we don't walk in their shoes we don't know what their perception is we don't know how they feel um, I, I learned that real early I learned that real young um, I understand why 
God says don't judge people, only he can. Because we can't, because we don't know. Our reality is through our own eyes. And that reality that we see out of our own eyes isn't the reality of the person next to us. Because their eyes are different. And they see life different. Um, so their reality is different. That's so, and, and Cody won't mind this. I actually came up with the name, the new reality. <clears throat> and the reason I came up with the name, new reality, is because what we're talking about. Um, I want people to understand that everybody's different. We all have our own perception on what our reality is. But we're, I'm here to tell you there's a new reality and it's coming. And it's becoming in our children. It's coming in this new existence. Um, it's coming in the energy that's, it, that continues to come. The veils are thinning when it comes to communicating with spirits um, and spirit. I call spirit meaning the ones I work with to give me the messages that help me talk to your loved ones and the ones that I talk with and my clients. Um, that veil's thinning so the, the messages are clearer. Um, they're getting voices. You get a chance to see the new reality when we're doing sensory depth. People, oh, you guys are faking. Whatever. I don't care. But you know what? That They communicate best through that radio that we have. And, and they tell us things. And I'm getting ringing in my ears. Um, they message us. And this, yeah, it's pressure in the head because it's high energy. Um, this last episode we did, we got a chance to really validate things. We got a chance to one. I pulled a name out of out of the sensory depth. I pulled a name I'd never even. I don't even remember what it is now. I pulled this name out, and then we actually towards the end of the video. This happened in the middle of the video. Towards the end of the video, we picked up on EVP the same name. Now, uh, tell me we're faking. Like we had two skeptics yesterday go. <laughs> that's a good video for skeptics that that episode because there was things like just one after the other and then it was something else you guys were in the attic yeah and it, and it says something oh something with the camera as you turned off the camera i don't i forget which one turn off the camera it said camera yep <laughs> it was on our uh uh uh-huh. so even we had an sls where the stick figure comes up and it's got its arm up and it, you see it do this. And at the same time, you hear a knock. The SLS uh-huh. picked up the figure, tall, and it put its arms through the rafters and knocked on the ceiling. And it knocked. You could hear it audibly. Same attic. When we were up there, we had um, I, the SL5. It's, it's, a, it's basically a grid that picks up cold, hot, and anomalies and, and has all these sirens and colors that go off to if it's hot or, or cold oh. or whatever it is. Yeah, the floor. I call it the floor. Yeah, it's, yeah, um, and it, yeah, uh, uh, amazing piece of equipment. We've used it, we've, we got it more recent, but we, I think we used it in five different investigations. Something came out of the rafter. It looked like a huge, or I, look, I call it a tadpole. And it came out and that thing went nuts. It shut, It's it rebooted. It started just going, sirens were going off. The thing comes around, does a figure eight next to it, goes by it and dissipates. It's, it never did that even one time when we went up there. So whatever it was energetically caused that sensor to go nuts and do what it doesn't normally do. That's so cool. It's crazy. If you haven't (laughs) seen that, that is, that is Twin Rivers Homestead um, part one. And part two is as crazy as it was as, as it was for part one. Pretty crazy. I can't wait to see that part two then. <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, like the new, new reality, I think we there is a level of, um, yeah, and we try not to get too frustrated, but um, there's a lot of faking going on. I am frustrated because of that, though, because I enjoy watching paranormal shows, and then I'll find a show, and I'm like, I, I can feel it. Like, I use that for me personally. I haven't, I haven't gone out. I hate to interrupt you. Oh, that's okay. To, please. And to, like, investigate yet because I don't have a group. Like, I don't have anybody, like, to, just to go out and investigate. I would love to one day. But I would use that to practice, like, my intuition stuff. And I could see, like, or hear or feel what's going on or what's got. And then when I see the fake ones, I could tell right away because I could feel the difference. <laughs> unfortunate because it gives the ones that are really tr- trying to give you real evidence mm-hmm. 
they're trying to get you. And again, we're not going to make a freaking chair dance. That's just, I, that's, that's happened. I, I saw it on a live stream at one of the mills in Virginia city. Um, I saw a chair. Oh, I remember that episode. Yeah. Yeah. Live stream on the haunted side. Um, that was crazy, but you know, that doesn't happen often. <laughs> that happens very rarely. Um, but yeah, so there, there's a lot of faking going on, and it's it's really disappointing. Um, and if you want to, if you're doing a show for entertainment, just say, "Hey, this is for entertainment use only." Don't lie to us, because again, I have a thing about lying. Don't lie. I mean, that's sooner or later you're going to get called out on it, or sooner or later they're going to find out, and then you're going to look like a fool. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to happen. I've seen like the this generation and the generation coming like they could tell that's why tiktok blew up so so quickly because it's so like true and like the kids the way that i call the kids I, i'm acting like if i'm 50 like the way they <laughs> the way they express themselves is very genuine genuine and instagram and like i don't want to mess with instagram but it's the way the difference you could tell like they they appreciate genuine personality like they appreciate the truth they appreciate they could tell like you yeah. can't fake it anywhere <laughs> but the youth is is all over that yeah. the youth is here and they're they want things to be different and i don't blame them uh it's time to, it needs to be different mm -hmm. it's time to, to the world needs to shift and i think it's gonna and there's nothing any government can do to change that um, the shift is happening. And and I truly believe, well, well, we won't go too far into that, 2012 is real. <clears throat> what happened there was energetic, and it started there. Mm -hmm. The Mayans knew something, mm -hmm. and it started there. And it's continuing to expand. Awareness is continuing to expand. The veil is thinning. Spirit is as clear than it, it's ever been. And we won't say spirit again as far as ghosts, but and spirit as far as our guides are strong on our sides helping us through these these harder and trying times not by chance no yeah i believe that so this is your reading do you have any questions about anything that you might because again i do have the ability of psychic um i can give you the most most likely scenario um, due to your choices that you are, but again, you have freedom of choice. Um, so you can change your path by just choosing something different. But if you have a question, I can give you um, a good guess on what it is. Okay, I do actually, because I've been contemplating this and I may or may not put this part in the video. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to use or even if to use my abilities to help others i'm in between and i don't i probably cut this little part out starting to sing professionally nice. or and continue with interviewing and with the youtube and all that stuff i'm like all over the place so i just wanted a little guidance from archangel michael my guides whoever wants to <laughs> say something um i'm open to that um i think um i get it was very clear as you were saying it um they feel you should be doing all of it because you are able to do that um but you're very unorganized um you're, <laughs> there is a level of you having to really put things in categories boxes organize what you're doing and they're probably saying the same damn thing to me <laughs> but it, it's it's about really organizing how you're doing it um try not to put so much thought use your intuitiveness to allow yourself to just let things be i i do feel like you really like uh, all this um, um, um well like i could just fucking set it down and that's beautiful let it be um like an example like with your interviews let it be raw the things you don't want cut it out you don't don't listen to what people say it should be let it be yours let it just be let it let it be a half hour long 
let it be 30 minutes or, you know, 15 minutes long. Um, get into the, just again, step away from your thoughts because the mind wants it to be better. And the mind is never going to let it be good enough. Your abilities are there. Allow it to just be. Okay. Don't overthink it. So when you feel like, and again, when you're going, oh, stop, take a deep breath, ask your guides, hey, is this where it needs to be? And then step aside from the mind because the mind's going to go, no, you got to do this, that, the other, and blah, 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 oh, chaos. Um, guides go, it's good. Step away from it and let it be good. And don't let the mind take over. The mind's not who we are. Make sense? Yeah. Do yeah. it all because you have a, you have a, a message um, to bring. You have a message to bring. It could be through the um, your your interviews. It could be through your singing because music's healer as well, right? Yeah, I I sing a lot when I feel either sad or good. Either way, it helps me feel better. Healer, you're that's uh, music and song is very healing, very healing. That's crazy. I used to sing in church, <laughs> and the messenger part because I'm that I, I'm gonna tell you this and I'll probably cut it out. I keep saying I'll cut things out, I might just leave it all. Um, my thing with spirituality like really bumped off when my my dad my grandpa died that night i had a dream with archangel michael but it felt like i was gonna like like it was so vivid and strong i felt like i was gonna die or something it started off me and my dad and my mom and my brother in the car like going to the beach and then all of a sudden the scenery changes and this big bright light from the ceilings like in my eyes and I'm like here you go I'm dead I'm dying something like something's gonna happen because I'm the energy and the raw like it was so strong and pure and then I remember the voice saying do not fear Archangel Michael I'm here something like that and then he started saying the prayer of uh, our our father in heaven, like the whole thing. And then yeah. he said, you're here to become a new type of angel. And I never got that because I'm like, what an angel? I'm no angel. <laughs> and then, yes, yes, you are. <laughs> Just because you live in this human body doesn't mean. And then, like, I've I've come to click after years like me like always into like studying this like spiritually angel actually means messenger if you look it up and then you just said <laughs> hey, <laughs> what did I just say? yeah you're, yeah you ha you're here to bring a message okay and that's beautiful and and that's why you're doing this these interviews as well and that's an an amazing story and, and it's important for you to, to share those things. Um, don't be so critical on yourself because I, I, I feel that. Um, you know, anything that's quirky, it shows who you, your personality is. And it's a very caring and loving personality. And that's what people need to see. And again, going back into the rawness of, of just, you have a lot to bring and it's in, in the quirkiness and all the things that you bring are beautiful. And that's who you are, and that's what you're here to bring. So the cutting out is really just you're, you're cutting out the things that people really, truly need to hear. Okay. Make your videos half hour. Make your videos an hour. Who gives a, a – if they don't want to watch all the way through, they don't have to. If they want to go back to it, they can go back to it. I don't know who told you you should only do a little bit of time. That is baloney. Because you have a message and you should never cut out that message because when it comes out, it comes out naturally and you shouldn't cut out naturally. Wow. Right? Yeah.
I, my ear was ringing when you were saying that, so I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> guides. And just real quick, I, I won't take any more of your time. Um, these are your guides giving these messages, right? So um, I'm only I, I'm a vessel. I won't say I'm only I, I'm a vessel that brings the message that your guides are doing. You're hearing ringing because they're telling you this is right, this is accurate. Mm -hmm. Go with it. Go with what you bring out because it's what you're. That's what it is needed. It's what our society needs. Yeah. That's the message. This is your reading. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what you think? It's mind blowing. I think I really needed. I needed this really badly. I don't think I'm the only one either. <laughs> I think I might not cut anything out. I feel no, there's weird. a lot of messages from more people. Spirits helping a lot of people, and, and I don't mind being the messenger. I don't mind being um, the angel on earth to help bring the message, right? Yeah. I'm open to it, too. I'm excited yeah. for it. <laughs> bring it on. You know what? I mean, because that's why you're here. That's why we talked. That's why you got the, that's why you got the reading, um, because uh, they wanted you to hear it. And they wanted you to also know that your loved ones are around and they're they're helping and they're supporting and they're loving. Um, and they want what's best for you. I appreciate and that. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I'm a little, I'm a little <laughs> I don't want to be mean to myself, but I'm a little slow sometimes. I need I need them like to really <laughs> tell me well, spell it out for me sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, and and I think that's why the message. Uh -oh. oh, did it cut it? Well, that's yeah. right. That's them messing with me. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, the energy. Uh, again, they're. Too. Yeah, I think uh, again they're gonna. Um, that's why the message was so clear. That's why it was very. There was no, um, in betweens. It was very clear. That's why your loved ones came in so clear. We can cut all this out because it's just BS. But. No, you're fine. Um, they're they're here. The messages are here to to just give you clarity. And again, I get to be the messenger. The beautiful thing is, and I, I'm gonna laugh a little bit. There's there's times where uh, spirits very blunt, and they say things to people like when I give them readings that just they need. It's almost like a tough love, and I'm like, yeah. Like they even use vulgarity sometimes. Like, what the f are you doing? You know, get get up and blah blah blah. You know, so um, yeah, I'm getting ringing too. Again, uh, messages are just yeah, they're very clear. I'm very yeah. fortunate to be where I'm at. Woo. <laughs> Let me see. Beautiful. I don't know. Oh, okay. I guess that's what I'm saying. Like, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I again, um, I appreciate you allowing me on to to do your show, and okay. I'm uh, I'm glad that you got a lot from it. I did, I really did. I needed, I was like, it's been a very sh strong two months, and and this was very needed. And I'm I'm thinking, I'm feeling a lot of people are probably getting a lot of value from this. So I really, 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 really thank you, my spirit guys, my angels from my heart, my soul. Thank I really do appreciate this. Thank you so much. I have so much respect for you. Like you blew my mind right now. Like wow. There's people out there that um, claim this, but um, and, and unfortunately, there's frauds out there too that will try to reach out to people and and say that they are and tell them ugly things. Um, but again, I, as a medium, will not go to anybody they come to me um the word of mouth i've done a lot of readings i've done probably in the last four months 50 readings um and the only reason i've done 50 readings is because the readings i've given were so helpful that they told their friends and their friends told their friends and and it's just it's a spreading um, and again, if if anybody's looking for a reading, um, I, I actually you can you can look, you can look me up on Instagram, the Mountain Man Medium, and DM me. Um, also, if you go to the New Reality Eleven .com, I actually have, which is how you did it. Yeah. Uh, there's a calendar there, and you can um, you can actually request a date. 
I'm I'm presently looking to get. Uh, I'm an aerospace management in aerospace management. I'm out of work right now, so the, that calendar is open, pretty open right now. But um, I am presently looking for work pretty hard. So if that happens, I will be probably less uh, uh, available. Um, but my goal is is really to help society and help everybody grow because that's why I'm here. I like that message. Thank you. I'm I'm in the same. And if again. I'll put all his um, information down below if you you are interested. I highly recommend. I got I got this. I got the message. I needed this really bad. I think I think my they they took advantage of this to give you guys a message. I know this may be something for each and every one of you that are watching. So thank you again for coming on. I really appreciate this. This is really beautiful. It was really cool. <laughs> And go I, check I, their videos out. Like they're awesome, yeah. and they're on Paraflex too. You could, I have that link below. Like they're, it's really good to watch. It's really, really good. Yeah, and just real quick on the Paraflex and YouTube, um, we have exclusive stuff just on Paraflex. Um, again, that's the new reality. Uh, um, that's the new reality. Um, also, we have uh, a lot of video and content on YouTube. Uh, we try to put our ba our eggs on, on different baskets, and we're just we're we're knocking it out of the park as far as evidence. Yeah, real evidence. <laughs> it's real. Evidence. So thank you, thank you guys for watching. Those watching from YouTube, I might split this up a little for Paraflex, maybe. <laughs> and uh, again, thank you, Sean. I really appreciate this. And until next time, guys. See you guys.